<laughs> How's it going guys? Mr. Holton here. And today we're gonna check out something that I myself find really, really cool. But before we dive into that, remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support me in my content creation endeavor, you could always become a member. And thank you to everybody who's joined up so far. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I want to give a special shout out and thank you to Mr. Alexander Johnson, who is our first official Ensven Spectre. You're awesome, dude. All right, let's get on with the video. So you guys have probably already seen the many rumors and news that Bioware might be looking at using the Unreal Engine 5 instead of the Frostbite engine. And most of this comes from the numerous job listings that's come out on the EA careers page. And then there was also that one time when Jeff Grubb leaked us some info from his inside sources who told him that Bioware and EA are indeed looking to replace the current in-house engine, that being Frostbite. But as I said, these are all rumors, so we kind of have to take all of this with a very tiny sprinkle of salt. Still, if it does prove to be true, that Bioware will be using the Unreal Engine instead of the Frostbite Engine for the next Mass Effect, the next question naturally becomes, what the hell would it look like? Well, I have something to show you guys. Because after scouring the interwebs for some insight into Unreal Engine 5, I found an art station page of this one dude, Mr. Pascal Schionti. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but I assume that's how you say it. <laughs> now, of course, you might be asking, what's so special about this guy? Hold your horses, I'm gonna show you. Because Pascal's description on art station is the following. Senior lighting slash look dev artist at Ninja Theory Xbox Studio. So, no, this guy doesn't work with Bioware or EA, but he still is a senior lighting artist, which means that he has a lot of experience with setting the atmosphere in game environments. Here's the cool thing about Pascal. If we look through his catalog, we can see that he made a sort of a tech demo in Unreal Engine 5. And guess what game he used as an inspiration for this? You guessed it, Mass Effect. Now, just a huge reminder. This is just some very well-made, fan-made content. So this is in no way an actual representation of the next Mass Effect. It will probably be very different in the end. But considering Pascal here is a lighting artist and a game designer over at Ninja Theory, this might give us an idea of what Mass Effect 4 or 5 could look like, if it's to be made in Unreal Engine 5. Check it out. Cool, eh? Now, of course, the movement of the character is a little janky and we didn't see anything super advanced such as combat or anything like that. But I really like this tech demo because it shows what you could put together in terms of lighting and setting the stage for planet-side exploration. And considering that Pascal is just a fan, like any one of us, it's still super impressive that he could make this by himself. Can you guys imagine what this type of fidelity and detail would look like if an entire team was working on it? The next Mass Effect can't get here soon enough. Anyway, that's it for this video, and as always, have a great day guys. Mr. Holton, signing out.